loss aversion and stock mispricing. Another important behavioral explanation of mispricing is loss aversion. As humans, investors will likely feel more pain when they make a loss than pleasure when they make a gain. For example, the pain of losing $1,000 can feel greater than the pleasure of earning $1,000. To avoid the pain, many investors adopt a loss aversion strategy. According to one study, the size of an investor's loss aversion is related to their recent experience. They are likely to display a greater loss aversion tendency if they recently experienced a loss and may willingly accept a greater risk of loss if they recently experienced a gain. As growth stocks are companies that have performed well recently and delivered gains to their investors, the investors are willing to accept more risk on growth stocks. Value stocks, on the other hand, generally belong to companies with poor recent performance, and their prices have consequently declined. As the investors have experienced the pain of recent losses, they are less willing to accept the risk and apply a higher risk premium to these stocks, driving the prices even lower. This may also help explain the momentum effect we will discuss later. The discussion in this section helps explain the large size and persistence of the value premium. Another behavioral explanation exists that pertains to the small cap growth anomaly, which we will discuss in the next chapter.